Updating Fox top story and big change for Obamacare. President Obama did not involve Congress in today's apparent about face regarding insurance companies. He made the change on his own, allowing those companies to renew canceled plans, even if they don't meet the law's requirements. Does this undercut the whole point of those guidelines? And if not, why not? And how can a president make changes to a law which both houses of Congress passed? Let's take it to the judge, Fox News senior judicial analyst, Judge Andrew Napolitano. In a vacuum, I didn't think he could do that. I thought that that was the legislative branch's job. Well, your thoughts are correct, and your thoughts are consistent with 230 years. 230 years of the history of the way the Constitution works. Congress writes the laws, the president signs it, it becomes the law, the courts interpret it, the president enforces it. Not as he wants it to be, but as it's written. So the president cannot change a law cannot change the terms of the law, cannot change the date at which the law begins unless Congress and the courts are willing to look the other way and let the president do it because it happens to be popular at the moment. But when the president sets his own date or his own standards, he's effectively changing a law which he doesn't have the authority to do. I wonder if that opens him up, opens the government up to any suits. Well, it opens up what he did today to another challenge before the Supreme Court. Because by saying to insurance carriers, I now want you to go back into those states where you left and offer those sort of, uh, 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 how shall I say it, bare bones insurance policy, which he called substandard. And the insurance carriers now don't want to offer those because they still have to offer in the same states the Obamacare policies, which cost more, and they're not getting enough money on those. They will actually cause the insurance carriers to lose money. And before those carriers will lose money, they will sue the government to stop the government from forcing them to make these inexpensive ones available. He's really created a mess, a legal mess, a constitutional mess, in an effort to stem the tide of criticism brought on by his own insistence that if you want, if you like your policy, you can keep it. He taught constitutional law, didn't he? Yeah, he did. I, 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 don't, I, just, I really don't understand it. Whether you were for this law or against this law, frankly, this is America, it doesn't matter. Because the House of Representatives and the Senate passed it and the president signed it, now it's the law. And the Supreme Court f found it constitutional. Oh, that, that's what I mean. So, yeah. so that's it. That's how the system works. I, th there are a bunch of people screaming at you and your poll numbers are dropping. I don't, I don't understand. I don't get it. This, this president, and, and, and in fairness to him, a lot of presidents have done it. He seems to be doing it more than anybody else thinks that he can change things on his own. Bomb Libya, kill Gaddafi on his own. Congress said, wow, Gaddafi's a monster. We don't care about that, we'll let him do it. So the more changes the president does, the more Congress looks the other way, the more the fabric of the nation is assaulted when the president is effectively rewriting laws because the rewritten part happens to be popular at the moment. What happens when he wants to rewrite a law that the public doesn't like and Congress has sort of cut out its own ground from under it because they're so accustomed to letting him do this? The right way to do this would have been a legislative fix, would have been let Congress change the terms yeah, of the Yeah, but he law. knew that if you do that, you get in there now, they'll start picking it apart because there are all these Democrats who were for it before they were against it, and, and they're up for re-election. You know. Look, he's assaulted the, the philosophical premise of the law. The philosophical premise of the law is the government, not you or me, not the good folks watching us now. The government will decide what insurance you are going to get by saying, oh, we'll let you go back to those substandard policies, the ones you bought on your own. He's attacked the very basis uh, of the law that was to have been his legacy. I bet this ain't over. Oh, no, no, not at all, not at all. Because the, the Democrats can't live with it, the Republicans can't live with it, and there's going to be more challenges to it in the courts. We have breaking, Judge. Okay. Uh, let's get to.